They can reach depths of about 800 feet thanks to a system of internal and external ballast tanks. We have five external ballast tanks that are normally filled with air when I'm riding on the surface. When it is time for us to dive, we'll open vents on those ballast tanks. There's grates on the bottom of the ship that allow water to come in, displace the air, making the ship just slightly negatively buoyant. We then proceed down to the depth that we want to go to, and we use internal ballast tanks to make the ship neutrally buoyant, that then we can progress on our way in whatever depth we choose. The crew on board the Virginia class have an abundance of cutting edge controls at their fingertips, one of which is replacing the most iconic feature in submarine history. The periscope has been a key component on the submarine for over 100 years, but engineers on the Virginia class are taking a bold step toward the future by replacing the periscope with a state-of-the-art photonic mast. The photonic system is a mast with a sophisticated camera system that allows what would normally be displayed just in a periscope to be displayed on widescreen monitors throughout the ship. Now, you used to have to have an optical periscope that came down which drove the construction of the submarine and the orientation of all of the rooms on the submarine. Bulky periscopes force most submarine control rooms to be located on a cramped upper deck. On the Virginia class, the compact imaging equipment is housed in a part of the submarine known as the sail. This allows the sub's control room to be built on the wider second deck. My control room that I'm standing in right now houses all of the important decision makers. It really brings the crew together to operate as a team, as a unit, 